how you upgrade your character can dynamically change how that character acts throughout the rest of the campaign. Over the course of the campaign, you're going to be gathering a number of upgrades. As you accumulate Blood Echoes, you can redeem them in the Hunter's Dream to purchase upgrade cards. These upgrade cards are going to be permanently added to your stat deck, replacing cards that you have previously acquired. Upgrades come in four types, representing four of the primary stats seen in Bloodborne. Skill, which represents your attack speed. Strength, the amount of raw damage a character can deal. Endurance, how many actions and in general how many cards you'll draw each round. And Vitality, a character's ability to block and heal damage. You could be playing the same character over multiple campaigns, but just depending on how you build them, it could radically change from one campaign to another how that character is going to function and operate. For example, I might have a hunter that specializes in Ludwig's Holy Greatsword, a big massive slow weapon that usually deals a lot of damage on my attacks. Depending on which upgrades I choose, the play style of that character can drastically change. I can begin specking into speed, replacing a lot of my basic deck with speed upgrades, allowing me to attack faster with these high damage dealing attacks. Conversely, I could decide that I just want to focus on dealing more damage, and then invest into strength cards, meaning my attacks are going to remain slow, but hit that much harder. Through this, I can actually modify a character's playstyle to fit my own. Whether you want to take a balanced approach and keep your stats roughly the same, or completely spec into one setting, that's another option that you have, just depending on how you want to build your character over the course of the campaign. Welcome to the Hunter's Dream. This will be your home for now.